this is our camping spot last night where we had to suffer through all this and all the views checking out uh, Venus first thing in the morning the mountains yeah this was our campsite I know uh, we have to suffer sometimes good morning good morning I'm hiking in the woods we're just off of that cliff um, so you can imagine how high up we are and uh, we kept going up for a little bit we'll probably oh yeah we're starting to go up again but uh, we're going through the presidentials that's what they call this area we're going to Mount Jackson next named after Phil Jackson the famous uh, rock star that saved the planet back in 1492 so anyway we're gonna head that way and keep walking it's five o'clock in the morning uh, 520 actually We've been up for a while. I got up at four, made some coffee. It was delicious. Uh, and then uh, Rambo got stirring. And we were hiking with a bunch of people that we've been hiking around for a while now. So um, everybody woke up and, and got moving. Rambo and I are, as usual, last on the list, but we rock. So, uh, we're gonna keep climbing, and uh, there'll be more later. And there's Rambo walking. Check out where he's walking. I know. It just keeps going. It's amazing. It's amazing that he, that he, uh... So this has been pretty neat. You get these little sections that are inside the forest, right? And you're walking in between trees, and all of a sudden, bam, you come upon a rock, right? You crawl to the top of the rock, and whew, there's Rambo crawling to the top of the rock gracefully, right? You get to the top of the rock which is where I am, and then you get to look out over the valley. Isn't that beautiful? And then you're back in the forest, doing a forest thing. Yeah, all morning long so far. Pretty cool. Check out this craziness. I know. They all died. All these trees. Yeah. Huge blowdown. I think it was Godzilla. Can't be for certain, but maybe this is just where he swiped it with his tail. Definitely on the track of Godzilla. This is an alpine bog. We're on our way to that mountain way over there. We gotta make it there and then down below tree line before nighttime. We're totally on schedule to check it out. Little grouses. She's a she was in flight, but she's got all her little birdie babies around. Now all pecking and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. How cool is that? Hey mama grouse. Come on guys, cross the board. There you go. Hey, we don't want to disturb you, but can we walk on the trail? Can can we walk on the trail, little mama? Okay, so we stopped at Mitzvah Hut. And uh, it's like a hut. Um, we're going to uh, Mount Washington. This is the hut. There's a bunch of bunk beds in there. And it's like a hundred and something dollars a night to spend the night in a bunk bed. And then you can hike um, up a trail or down a trail or wherever you want to go. But it's about a mile to get here. And then, you know, down the way. So we're back on the trail. We're out of civilization. A lot of people. Okay, we're walking along. And I was just made aware that's 
Eisenhower. The mountain, not the man. Yep, named after. And that's Mount Washington way over there. And we're back in the forest. Just so you guys know, look at this. As I'm moving, and I'm using uh, using Rambo as a point of reference. Look at how big this is. This stuff, not crazy. I'm gonna give you a little bit of the trail. Check this out. So, we just passed uh, two mountains. There is one precedent right there, and over there is another, and way over there are other precedents, but. So that's the Lake of the Clouds hut. There's a dungeon in there somewhere. I don't know, we didn't stay long. I ate some baked ziti. It was pretty good. And now we're headed um, up the trail, up above the tree line, obviously, to Mount Washington. Yep, we got a ways to go. And uh, he's running up the trail, which is okay. I don't know, I like that. Let him run. I'm gonna walk and enjoy 1.4 miles of a beautiful track of this thing. Check out this sign. Go ahead, check it out. Look, I'll give you a second to read it. Yep, that's where I'm headed. And there's the lake, or the lake of the clouds. And there's Mount Washington in the background. How awesome is that? There's prettiness. That's right. Well, it's pretty clear too. Wow. Check it out. It's not often that we hikers get to see people actually working on the trail. That was really cool. You guys are doing a phenomenal job. Thank you for taking care of us. Bless. Uh, Oh, for 1,800 miles I've done so far. Nice, man. I'm going to keep going. Great. Oh, look at that. So if, you got. Like, if you feel like taking a break once you pass the top of this tripod, we're about to fly a rock down. Oh, yeah, I want to see flying rocks. Yes. So Can you, you do to, pigs, you too? To hike past that upper tripod, and if you want to take it, you know, stop there for a little bit, that, um, you'll be able to see it. Okay, cool. Or you can stay here if you want, but Sweet. it's going to be a couple minutes before it happens. And this guy's drinking straight maple syrup. Look at that. That's cool. Check it out, look. They're gonna put a rock right here, and they're moving it from way up there. And they're gonna drop it down right here, right where I'm standing. So do not disturb these tripods are for trail work. And I'm not gonna disturb anything. I'm just gonna keep on hiking because they're doing some cool stuff. And I kinda wanna see this, so look at that. It's gonna fly underneath this wire right here and drop down right where I was standing. 
which is totally awesome. Uh, I wonder how big this rock is. We gotta go find out. Okay, so I talked to a guy, and these guys are gonna be a while before they move this rock. It's not like they're ready. So, but yeah, they're gonna take that red line, and it's gonna go way down here. And they're gonna move that rock all the way down there, which is cool. You gotta, you gotta figure out a way to do it, especially over this, which is awesome. Oh, there it is. All right. No, still not ready. They gotta pick a rock to move. Oh, this looks dangerous. So that's how they build all these stairs. It's pretty cool. And, uh, and the, all those stairs that I've been climbing and all those rocks that are put into place to make it look natural, they're not natural. These guys have been building these trails for years and years and years and they keep doing it and they keep making them a little bit better every single time a lot of hard work involved it's totally cool so i'm gonna go up there and uh, follow this trail no oh, i don't know what everybody's rush was this is actually easy walking over this talus now granted it's not gonna all be that way but you know because obviously that's way up high uh and i'm still way down low and I only got a mile and a quarter to go, mile and a half, something like that. But, like I said, if it's like this, half the way, yeah, we can do this, this stuff all day. So we'll find out what it's like on the other side when I get to the top and uh, eat on the other side. But who knows? I'm not too worried about it. Seems like everybody was in a rush, though, to get out of Lake of Clouds and keep on moving up to uh, Mount Washington where apparently there's a lot more people and uh, I can't wait to see what that's that's gonna offer them so but it's pretty cool worst weather in America recorded right here I know right and it's a beautiful sunny day it's gorgeous Check it out, I'm headed up there. This is what I'm walking down. I got sweat in my eye. Oh my gosh. It's not that bad. It's really beautiful. Look at this. I can see for miles and miles and miles. Oh. There's Lake of the Clouds over where we were. Here comes some 50K guy. Oh, look at that. Sorry Never... you. Oh, you didn't ruin anything, man. <laughs> You're just walking, just like everybody else. Oh. Okay, so 1,800 miles later, I make it to the top of Mount Washington. There's the line to Mount Washington Summit. Going way back there. I'm still on the Appalachian Trail, except that I don't know where it goes. I think it goes down that way. So I'm headed down that way. Woo, baby. Okay, so here's Mount Washington. There's Rambo. He's standing in line. He's been back there standing in line holding our place. This is the line to get your picture taken. So when you see the picture and it says Mount Washington Summit and everybody's uh, huddled around it, this is what is not huddled. These are all the people that are up here. And it doesn't really look like you're all alone on the top of Mount Washington where the highest wind speeds have ever been recorded. Huh? <laughs> okay, it's a beautiful, glorious day here, but check it out. 231 miles an hour, the wind was blowing up here. Isn't that crazy? It's amazing. And this is what you get. Now, 231 miles an hour, yeah. And look, this is what we didn't see. You know, right next to the gift shop, you got some chains holding down a building. You know, and you got a bunch of stuff going down. Check it out, look. Look, this is what they don't show you. This is what you don't see. A bunch of parking lots. It's really gorgeous down there. There's some ski slopes. We're above the ski slopes. That's how high up we are. Yeah, crazy, right? These are the infamous cog train tracks. 
You see this little thing in the middle? There's actually a, a cog train that, that runs and grabs a hold of these, and it uh, carries people all the way up to the top of Mount Washington. Yep. So it's, it's interesting to, to look at. Oh, and we got to cross it and hopefully not die, right? Nobody wants to walk on the tracks. We get off here, and uh, there you go. Huh. Check it out. Here's the trail. It's going up that mountain right there. Oh, and let's see. Let's see, there's a moon. Mount Washington, way over there. I still have like four or five miles to go. It's going to get dark soon. I'm not in any real rush. Everybody else is like pushing ahead. I'm like, it's all good. It's not going to leave me. You know? It's funny. Uh, I know that uh, once I leave this place, um, I'm never going to get to see things like this again. You know? So, you wonder, why does everybody rush through it? Like everybody I'm hiking with, or hiking around, like I'm hiking with Rambo, wherever he is. He's way ahead, everybody's ahead. Um, why are they, why are they so far ahead? Why are they, uh, you know, anxious to leave this? It's gorgeous up here. I've been trying to figure it out all day. Uh, you know, they get somewhere and they're, okay, we gotta hurry up and get to the next place. This is the only time that you're going to get to see this stuff. And maybe not. I mean, everybody else hikes and everything. So everybody else will come to this. And hike your own hike. I'm all for that. But, you know, this is really beautiful. And, uh, and I'm never coming back here. I'll never have a chance in my life. Uh, maybe I will, but, you know, who knows? There's other adventures awaiting. So, why, uh... Why rush through this? Uh, I'm tired, I'm beat up. The trail is nothing but rock scramble. It's a little after six, and uh, I'm just trying to make it, well, first to Madison Hut and then down further. So we'll see where I get to. All right, one bad decision after another. It's really getting dark out, and uh, there's the moon. That's what I'm walking in. Climbing over. And uh, it's going to be dark real soon. So, yeah. I'll be in the dark here in a bit. Hope we make it.